good morning students a very warm welcome once again rpcns with the commencement of second term today we will start with a chapter of biology which is very important indeed named respiration in organisms that is respiration in animals and plants in this module 1 we will know about respiration that is the energy releasing process and we will learn about types of respiration that is aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration let's start with it every organism requires energy to carry out the life processes that is to work grow and develop this energy is obtained from the food we eat the digested food reacts with oxygen present in the body and releases energy this process is called oxidation of food thus every cell needs energy and hence needs food that is in the form of glucose and oxygen the fundamental process of oxidizing food and release of energy in body cells is called respiration in organisms glucose is the major source of energy therefore it is called biological fuel respiration what do you mean by the term respiration students respiration is the process of taking in oxygen using it for release of energy by oxidation of food and eliminating the waste products that is carbon dioxide and water respiration is a metabolic process that occurs in all the organisms it is a biochemical process that occurs within the cells of organisms biochemical process is a type of chemical process that takes place in the body of living organisms in this process the energy in the form of a chemical named atp that is adenosine triphosphate is produced by the breakdown of glucose which is further used by cells to perform the various functions every living species either from a single celled organism to a dominant multicellular organisms all perform respiration thus we can define respiration as the biochemical process whereby the living cells of an organism produce energy by taking in oxygen and liberating carbon dioxide from the oxidation of complex organic substances in simple words the process of breakdown of food that is oxidation of food in the cells of an organism with the release of energy is called respiration respiration is characterized by the following acts food is used up that is oxidation of food occurs energy is produced and exchanges of gases takes place oxygen is used up and carbon dioxide is given out let's study types of respiration broadly respiration is of two types based on whether oxygen is used in this process or not most living organisms require oxygen for respiration such respiration is called aerobic respiration whereas as some organisms can live even without oxygen respiration which takes place without oxygen is called anaerobic respiration 
let's study about types of respiration one by one aerobic respiration it is a type of cellular respiration that takes place in the presence of oxygen to produce energy it is a continuous process that takes place within the cells of animals and plants this process can be explained with the help of the chemical equation as sugar in the form of glucose which is formed in the digestion of food combines with inhaled oxygen breaking down glucose into carbon dioxide and water and releases energy this type of respiration is carried in almost all plants and animals food molecules are completely oxidized into carbon dioxide water and energy is released in the presence of oxygen organisms that use oxygen for respiration are called aerobes another type of respiration is anaerobic respiration it is a type of cellular respiration that takes place in the absence of oxygen to produce energy the chemical equation for anaerobic respiration is as follows sugar in the form of glucose breaks down in the absence of oxygen into carbon dioxide and alcohol with the production of less amount of energy here less amount of energy is produced as a result of incomplete oxidation of food in the absence of oxygen ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide are produced during anaerobic respiration the animals and plants that can survive and obtain energy even in the absence of oxygen are called anaerobes some examples of anaerobes are yeast some kind of bacteria and parasitic animals that live in the elementary canal like round worms and flat worms respire anaerobically because they do not get oxygen in the elementary canal yeast is a single celled organism it respires anaerobically and yields ethyl alcohol the yeast cells are therefore used to make wine and beer yeast is also used in making bread when yeast respire anaerobically they carry out the process of fermentation and produces carbon dioxide carbon dioxide gas while escaping make the dough rise and leaves holes in it which makes the bread fluffy vinegar curd wine alcohol are made as a result of the anaerobic activity of bacteria and yeast even muscle cells can also respire anaerobically but for a short time especially when there is a temporary deficiency of oxygen during heavy exercise fast running cycling heavy weight lifting or strenuous exercises the demand for energy is high but the supply of oxygen to produce energy is limited then anaerobic respiration takes place in the muscle cells to fulfill the demand of energy students glucose in the muscles converted into lactic acid and energy is produced in the absence of oxygen have you ever wondered students why you get muscle cramps after heavy exercise the cramps occur when muscle cells respire anaerobically the partial breakdown of glucose produces lactic acid the accumulation of lactic acid causes muscle cramps and swellings in the muscles 
we get relief from cramps after a hot water bath or massage. Can you guess why it is so? Hot water bath or massage improves circulation of blood. As a result, the supply of oxygen to the muscle cells increases. The increase in the supply of oxygen results in the complete breakdown of lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water. This is how you overcome the muscle cramps. With this, we end up this module 1. We'll join you soon with another module. Till then, take good care of yourself, students. Thank you.